Wine is a product of nature and as people we're, we're in a certain rhythm with that and that's why we can thoroughly enjoy wine without sometimes being able to communicate exactly why. Um, I think it's because it hits a sort of level which is very sort of instinctive and, and emotional. I think like anyone it takes a while for your palate to mature and, and become sort of engaged and intrigued by the possibilities of, of really good wine and that was the situation I was in probably about 20 years ago. My partner and I were living in Sydney. We connected with a local bottle shop and we were exploring their range and trying lots of different wines and then we took that a bit further and we went on a trip to South Australia. Visiting those environments really sort of fired a little bit of a passion for, for both of us and um, that really stuck with us. partner Beth and I we took a leap of faith and we said we're going to move to wine region and um, we picked Margaret River uh, off the map had never been here before and uh, that's how we sort of worked worked our way up through the through the experience of really immersing yourself in a wine region. I've always thought everyone has a story and I think it's really worthwhile to kind of try and transmit that. When you enjoy a wine, you automatically, you kind of want to know more. You want to get a bit of an understanding about who made it, why they made it, where it's come from, you know, where it's going. What I really got excited about was taking in all that information, sort of synthesizing it in my own mind and then thinking about um, from the point of view of Howard Park, how can I communicate that to our wine club members and then the people that we deal with and that's really exciting as well because they're at this they're often they're at the same point that I was at at the start of my journey and I want them to sort of appreciate um, getting the answers to those questions and getting excited and that really just fuels your passion even further so that's um, that's really rewarding I think I think the thing that really appeals to me is that it's not um, a book that ever finishes you know when you make wine it's almost difficult to sort of think in these terms, but there's no end point. You're always kind of striving, but you're never going to get to this point where that's as good as it's going to get or that's it for me. You know, there's always another year and the grapes are out there and you're going to pick them and you're going to make another wine. So that's where it's a, it's a story that's ever evolving. I'm David Stredwick and I'm the yeah, wine club manager for Howard Park Wines.